Hello friends, this is Sandeep here. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss a lot many things related to the project management. Bar chart, GAN chart, critical path method, many many other things related to different different types of calendar views and as a project manager, what are the different uh, scopes are there and how you can definitely manage a particular project as a site engineer, as a project manager, as a, um, a project coordinator. So let's get started. So what is this typical view is called as? This is known as the GAN charts. Can you just go to the top left and right corner? You can see that there are different different types of views are there. And you will see that if you select a particular view, let's say I wanted to see the Gantt view. So this is the Gantt view, this is the calendar view and many many different types of views are there. So what are basically the these built, built in settings uh, actually related to the project management software like MSP. So Let's say for example, this is the calendar view. Uh, what am I going to do in this particular month? In this month, what I'm going to do? This is the May 2024. In this particular week, what is happening? In this week, what is happening? In this week, what is happening? In this week, what is happening? So a month is divided or fragmented into different different weeks related to individual dates and what exactly people are going to do. We are going to assign different types of resources and based on that what works would be assigned. So let us say that for example over here weekly basis and here it is custom basis. So let's say I, this, for example I wanted to go for five weeks. So this is the view of the individual five, five weeks, one, two, three, four, five. So five weeks actually it will give you the, the same chart that individual week what are you going to do. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So each individual week what is going to happen. If you want to change the setting that if you are not working on a particular day, you can go to the option over here and you can display the schedules and all actually what particular date if it if you are working on Sunday also because most of the site people they are working on the Sunday also so just get started over here and from here let's say for example here if you go back to the same view you will see that it starts it begins with the Sunday so typically what kind of calendar system that you guys are working majorly I'll tell you I'll just go back to the same menu and will I'll start the week basically because Sunday most of the companies will be having holiday so I'll again go to the schedule view and yes, this is the option. I'll just go to the Monday, which is the starting date. And from here, here we go that we will go back to the calendar view. And you can see that it is starting from the Monday onwards. Now, many, many companies will have different, different labor gangs the, uh, that will be controlled by the labor contractor or maybe subcontractors and all actually. And you will know that, you know, particularly uh, in, in different parts of the country, you will see that different people will have different, um, you know, vacation time. So you can give a particular date to start from which particular date and what particular weeks the, you know, the labor people will are going to take the off. Let's say during Christmas time, during the Pauli time, during the Eid time, whatever basically. So your project will not suffer if you are giving that kind of calendar systems here. So this is the view which would help you to, to formulate certain things actually over here. So let's say for example instead of one week, I'll just go to the four week calendar. So every four week actually what is happening, monthly also you can see that this is monthly basis what is happening. So this is the May month, for example, this is the June, July, August, like that September, all the weeks, what is happening? Okay, so this GAN chart is, is getting changed based on the weekly basis as, as you go up over here. Now that's the difference between the calendar view and to the GAN view, because certain things we'll see based on the calendar view. You can identify where the holidays and all are there. Gantt view basically what, is, what are the different works, what are the different activities and the things are there. So here you can, can you see that actually over here residential construction and here you will see that there is an option of general conditions and uh, uh, you know site works and all actually. So I generally try to tell uh, most of our clients and to the team actually. So this is the work and task and this is the subtask actually you know what are the subtasks this can be a kind of activity that you want to do and these are the different tasks that you are going to do and every task because the activity will have certain time and each task what kind of task you are going to do that is having certain time so you have to basically 
get uh, get on to the task and the subtasks so that you know how does it work and all actually so many a times the task work will be defined actually i mean because if you see the tender you will have the rcc concreting this is the item okay rcc concrete in which there is a foundation is one thing framing and upper floor and all actually there are so many different different things would be there so this is basically the item that item has to be divided into the different activities activities and this activities also need to be divided in certain tasks and different subtasks all right so this is how you will look at the macro level and to the micro level analysis how does it go how does it work actually let's say somebody um, 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 there is rcc this is a residential building you are going to do what are the tasks are there what are the subtasks are there what are the activities are there what are the items are there many many people are facing you we know, are facing a lot of problems in developing this particular thing we call it as actually this particular thing is known as work breakdown schedule in the work breakdown schedule you will have certain item numbers set sometimes the work breakdown schedule has to be again break it down in terms of the activities items and the tasks and the subtask wbs when it comes to the tendering system is totally different but you need to be at a very comfortable position to find out what are the task items activities uh, you know, you know subtask are there for example for example you will see that there is a excavation is a particular item okay but the excavation you require site clearance you require site clearance you require what is the plot boundary where it is then is it you know at some places you will have the hard rock you will have a soft soil okay so at one places you might require breaker at one places you might require jcb so uh, uh, this is a particular uh, 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 you know the item has to be divided into different different activities so that you know there is a surveying activity so where exactly this is going to be actually where is the neighboring plot where is this particular plot all right so based on that you will decide that how are you going to do this particular um, you know item based on the different activities that you are forming that's why in the in uh, as a project manager people are asking that how many years of experience you are having because the past experience will tell you what are the positive sides negative sides neutral sides um, risk sides of the project all right but as a student also if you accumulate the such kind of knowledge ultimately you are accum accumulating what the experience so ultimately you will get to know all these things so how how do you do that and how a project management software can help you in that particular area so this is how i wanted to show you that how this can be done now then the next thing which i wanted to tell you about the network diagram now what is this network diagram i think most of you might have seen the certain movies or uh, serials in which the murder mysteries would be there some murder has happened and what how many people will be there now let's say for example uh, you know somebody has got murder and you are the cid the uh, 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 inspector so how basically uh, uh, you know as a criminal investigator uh, who all are people involved into you know that particular person is what you are going to do and who will be and what is the correlation between the different people this is known as the network diagram and as a project manager okay now let's read of murder and uh, murder mystery come to the, let's come to the project in the project also you will see that different different items activities and um, you know tasks sub tasks would be there and there would be certain type of dependencies you will see that there are certain dependencies and all actually and from here also the different box styles you can define based on the critical milestones based on the non critical milestones based on the uh, uh, different different activities and items and based on the standard based on the cost based on the earned value etc etc so let's say for example if you are changing certain things actually automatically things will change and you will see that the the network diagram is also changing at all uh, and the network diagram is also changing 
So this is how the works of the network diagram is there. Like that, you will have the resource state and resources usage, how many people are getting getting used in a particular way area. If a lot of people are getting used at a particular area where you know you require the resource leveling. So these are the areas where you will get to know all this information. So project management, MSP, Primavera, these are the softwares would help you to you know see the project in a completely different domain. A, a, a successful project manager in the construction industry, he can be double successful in the pharmaceutical industry, in the industry where the mobile systems or other systems are there. Because construction industry is considered to be completely disorganized at certain level. But if you see that the manufacturing of the mobile, manufacture, development of a particular software or any other things actually, um, the project management uh, systems are comparatively quite controlled. You will have a very cozy place where the people are working. Whereas if you go to the construction site, you know, there is a rain, there are so many natural disasters, things will happen, many, many uh, unwanted parameters that will come. And that will delay the project and certain things which are required to be in the hands of a project manager will not be there. But if you come to the uh, other domains like say pharmaceutical industry and the other industry, you will see that certain things are there in your hands. And you can do the project management and such kind of things would be more effective. All right. So what all the other things are there? So timeline, Gantt, tracking Gantt chart and all actually this will tell you the critical path. You can see the red lines where exactly the critical path would be there. And these are the activities. If those are getting delayed, the, you know that there is a duration, there is a start date, finish date. And these are basically the different task name, sub task name and all actually will be there. And at the same time, what are the different types of resources that are required? So yes, this can be, you know, cut and paste, copied and pasted from the Excel to here and from here to Excel. So many, many things are there. MSP can be directly, uh, you know, you will see that. Uh, um, a lot many things from this particular software, you can transform this to the Nevis works. You can transform this to the Oracle system. You can transform this to the Primavera P6 systems. Many, many different Microsoft Teams. You can transform this to the Power BI. So, in the today's trend, you will see that a lot of AI systems are also coming it up, which is artificial intelligence and all actually. Machine learning and artificial intelligence. Yes, in the Microsoft, in the Power BI and many, many other areas, such kind of systems are getting plugged in. Principles of the project management will never change as sugar, what is meant mean by sugar, what is meant by sakhar, shakar and all actually. It is basically giving the sweetness to the particular desert. So the principle of the sugar is giving the sweetness like that or there are certain project management principles are there. What is float? What is differential float? What are the, um, um, uh, the slack periods are there? Um, how the current value or future values would be there? So how basically a project management systems can be worked? If you really wanted to understand this, please subscribe to our channel and make sure that you come regularly to our channels and watch the videos so that you can learn quite better. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.